Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals for our morning, December 15th, Tuesday, Precious Metals update. Look how beautiful it is out there. The water is absolutely dead flat calm. If you're a boater and you like these kind of days to go out and swim or just uh, float around, look at that. I mean, it's amazing. It looks like a lake. It doesn't even look like the Atlantic. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so sky-wise, not the greatest beach day, but you're not going to get burned today either. Look, a little overcast, and again, that water is just absolutely lovely. Makes me wish I was a scuba diver. Uh, maybe I'll go out and get the snorkel out today. <laughs> anyway, let's move along to today's precious ret precious rentals, precious metals reports. Um, this is what we got going on today. We have a up market today. Uh, I was a little surprised at how strong it was actually, and uh, but you, I think we're going to see uh, range. We're going to be range bound uh, for the rest of the month until right before the holiday. As I've been saying, if you've been watching my shows. Uh, however, you know, uh, we have been in a long-term bull market since, I think, 2016, 2017, and not all bull markets look alike. Uh, most people think bull markets look like this. You see how this line just goes up and up, and then it just keeps going. Well, that's actually when you're in bubble territory, mostly. Most good, solid bull markets, what follow my cursor, look like this. They're up and down, they're up and down, but overall, that cursor is going to go up like this. But it, it, bull markets don't go like this, and, and when they do, you better beware and get the hell out. That's probably a bubble. Um, but like I said, watch my cursor. This is what bull markets really look like in the real world. And they don't always look like they're going up, but they do a little bit, and that's what we got going on with gold right now. Uh, when you see this curve right near, here in gold, uh, watch my show because I'll probably tell you to sell some of your position or at least most of it. Uh, that's bubble territory right there. Anyway. Great article by Bill Blaine today. Um, um, here, let me give you the title because I want you to read it yourself. Bill Blaine's bearishly pragmatic look at 2021. I think he's a little bit more uh, uh, bullish than I am on 2021 because I don't see anything good happening next year or the year after. Uh, and I'll tell you why. But anyway, just to go over some uh, points that Bill Blaine makes here. The consequences of the pandemic have has been to deepen the existing distortions. Um, and that kind of plays on every different level, not just what the markets are doing, but what politicians and officials in the media are doing. Uh, they're not making anything better. Uh, their decisions to, to close things down and do those kind of things have just made things far worse for everybody, at least for the average working person, maybe not so much for corporations. Uh, however, uh, all this pandemic done has done is just... Uh, the pandemic has not hurt the economy. What has hurt the economy is the reaction to the pandemic by our officials and our corporate media. That's what has killed the economy, not the virus, but your politicians and your media. Anyways, uh, I, I sound like a broken record on that, and I don't want my videos to get tucked down to zero viewers, so I will avoid that topic if possible. Uh, let's go over a few points that Bill makes here. We can see it in the widening disconnect from the real economy of defaults, job losses, food banks, and crashing educational achievement versus massively inflated financial asset values and stocks. We're in a great economy, right? Supposedly. But we have major job loss, 20-plus million something isn't right. Uh, this country is suffering a bad case of cognitive dissonance. That is for sure. Uh, let me move on to another one of Bill's points here. We can feel it in the way markets demand further stimulus and are being driven primarily by the massive amounts of money sloshing around financial markets rather than the real economy. We have not been in a real economy since 2008. In fact, this economy was about to take a giant shit uh, right before the virus. So, don't you be fooled into believing this virus is the fault uh, of the crashing economy or the upcoming depression that we're going to see. The fault lays with our officials, with our politicians, and with our corporations. Uh, and they're not really real free market corporations. They're crony corporations that are in bed with government. And with our fourth estate, which is the media. And they're not the fourth estate anymore. They work for the government as far as I'm concerned. Uh, again, I don't want this to turn into a political commentary, so I'm going to move along from here as well. Our sense of financial reality f seems feels battered. Investors act on the basis of ongoing distortions, fueling prices. Eh, and we'll move along from that. Markets are going up on retail and in a, an ill-informed bluster. Uh, the consequences multiply. Well, anyway, a couple points that I wanted to uh, show you there, and I just kind of touched on them. Uh, we're, we're not in any way, shape, or form, even close to any kind of recovery. If this virus went away completely today, I mean completely, just disappeared entirely, uh, the economy would still be 
<laughs> screwed, let me say it, entirely screwed, we would still have major issues coming up. Uh, so again, don't let them blame the virus for this economy. It is their faults, period. Uh, good article, again, read this, Bill Blaine's Bearishly Pragmatic, look at 2021. Uh, I got this article on Zero Hedge. I just subscribed to Zero Hedge's uh, uh, new premium page. It's about a buck a day, but I tell you what, you don't get all that annoying advertising, uh, and it doesn't use up all the uh, memory like the other page was doing. So I'm kind of happy here. I'd recommend it. If you like Zero Hedge, uh, definitely go for the premium version. A buck a day, you know, you can afford that. Um, Oh, also, you can read Bill Blaine. It's an article here on his own site called Bill Blaine via MorningPorridge.com. I like Bill Blaine a lot. I think he's a super smart guy. Uh, so what really is the overall cause, cause of the demise of uh, uh, the economies worldwide and the cause of the demise of the U.S. dollar? Well, it's a fiat currency. Uh, no fiat currency has ever survived. And again, I, I am sounding like a broken record for sure because I almost repeat this on every show. But if you look over this real quickly, the fiat currency graveyard, the U.S. dollar is losing value through inflation. Uh, no, it's not through inflation. It's through deflation. So I would have to disagree with this meme. Uh, deflation of the dollar, uh, printing more and more and more of them, just making them worthless. It has lost over 97% of its purchasing power uh, since 1913, and I believe that's pretty much true. It is also slowly being overthrown as the world's undisputed reserve currency by countries forming trade alliances without using the U.S. dollar. Well, that's the biggest kept secret to Americans because we all think that the dollar is the world currency and will continue to be, uh, but our politicians and our media is not telling you it is not. It will not be. Uh, we are slowly being replaced. And what do you think is going to happen when all those dollars are stopped being used by other countries and they start coming back home here? We are in major trouble, folks. Uh, so what's causing this? Some experts believe that this is due to the reckless money printing by the Federal Reserve and the reckless spending and the accumulation of debt by the federal government. Well, I'd say the smart experts believe that. So <laughs> uh, that's exactly what's causing it. Uh, uh, reckless money printing. And we've been seeing this since 2008. Don't let them paint in your brain or paint in the history books that the virus caused this bad economy. It did not. Reckless money printing and poor financial and economic policy has caused this upcoming financial collapse. Not the virus. Period. So anyway, I'm going to move along from here. History of fiat money. <laughs> I just like this meme because uh, it's so fitting. Uh, fiat money is anything, if anything had or could have value equal to gold and silver. I like this saying too. I didn't know Thomas Paine said this. I have not fact checked it. Uh, if someone wants to fact check it, fine. If not, no big deal anyway because I like this saying. If anything had or could have the value equal to gold and silver, it would require no tender law. More or less, he's saying it would require no fiat currency. And why do they have fiat currency? Because they can endlessly print it, make themselves rich, make their friends rich, and make it uh, seem like the economy is getting richer, uh, when in fact it's not. So Thomas Paine, did you say that? If you did, boy, I, you're a smart dude. <laughs> uh, here, this is a little meme that I also saw that I think is absolutely spot on. Be prepared for the worst depression the world has ever seen coming up in 2020 or 2021. Now, actually, I wrote this. I think this is my opinion. I think we're due for a major, major economic issue coming up here. And I don't know if I'll call it a depression or not, but uh, yeah, it'll be a depression. Uh, I think it's probably 20, 2020, although they may keep the spigots going. They may be able to keep everything like a juggling act, keep the things going a little bit. I can't see it going beyond 2021. Um, and as I wrote here, and all those politicians, officials in charge at the time will be blamed. So the new administration is going in right now. Uh, will take, and the DNC will take the entire fault of any upcoming uh, depression that comes up in the next four years. Uh, and that'll hurt any chances they have for re-elections. That's my opinion. Uh, and the same thing would happen to Republicans as well, because neither party is fiscally responsible, in my opinion. Uh, and yes, they in their infinite wisdom will be managed to make it even worse with the help of their corporate media friends. And yes, what does government do when they try to fix a problem? Typically, they make it worse. And that's my opinion. My suggestion, store food, 
because you don't know if things might get caught up for a week. I don't think like all the farms are going to die and all the animals are going to die. It's going to be like a sci-fi dystopia movie. But I do see supply chain issues and, and other issues coming up. Uh, or just a currency getting more and more expensive, less people being able to feed themselves. Uh, so my suggestion is buy some food. Buy a couple weeks worth of food a month if you can afford it. Uh, again, this is always good to have even if there's no economic collapse in case of uh, things like hurricanes, tornadoes, uh, or any other unforeseen or for, uh, circumstances you may have. So I always recommend people to have two weeks to a month worth of food on hand. Um, Freeze-dried is the best way to go because I think it'll last 10 years, 12 years, and uh, uh, those MREs just taste terrible. So uh, I also suggest if you can buy a firearm, this is mostly for self-protection. I'm, I'm not suggesting anyone should go out there and join a militia or something, uh, and actually far from it. You know, the best thing you can do with you, your family, and friends is stay as far away from other people and stay as far away from problems as you can and uh, take care of your own people. That's my suggestion. Uh, let's move along to spot prices because that's why what we're here to talk about. Wow, I was really surprised by this morning's up prices here. Uh, let me just refresh this page. Uh, I get my spots from CCE, by the way. It is a subscriber service. Uh, the opening was a little higher. Uh, well, it was around 1855 about 20 minutes ago, uh, down just a tad, but again, up uh, 20 bucks uh, from yesterday uh, New York close. And silver's up 42 cents too. Uh, oddly enough, silver went up yesterday while gold went down. If you watch my report, you saw that. And platinum seems to have kind of disconnected entirely from the gold price. I'm not sure what's going on there. However, all three of these metals, even at these levels, uh, even at higher levels, I think it's even gold below 2000. If you're buying gold below 2000, you're going to be a big winner in the future. So don't worry about hitting these lows. It, you know, you're going to drive yourself nuts. Uh, it's like trying to hit the highs too. Uh, silver, super cheap. I think silver's cheap below 30. I think silver's cheap below 40 bucks an ounce. Uh, however, when its day will come, uh, I'm not exactly sure, but it won't be long from now, in my opinion. And platinum, man, platinum has always historically been more than the price of gold. I grew up, platinum was always a few hundred dollars more than the price of gold per ounce. Uh, up until, uh, what, I, for, I forget. A few years back, a half a dozen years back, that just completely changed. So I'm not quite sure what's going on there. And as you've noticed, I've taken plat palladium completely out of our discussions because I don't sell any of it. I don't know many people that sell much of it. Occasionally, you'll sell a couple ounces uh, every few months. Uh, but I don't know anybody that buys palladium, so why talk about it? That's my opinion. Um, that's it. And I think I'm replacing anyways with um. So <laughs> I got rid of anyways, and I'm saying um more now. So I'm going to get rid of um too. So um, <laughs> let's take a look at uh, oh, my closing page. Well, that's really about it. Uh, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in Lauderdale by the Sea. Very short report today. Uh, not a lot to talk about. And if there's anything that pops up during the day here, any kind of uh, crazy things, I'll make another report. I'm not, a, I'm not adverse to doing that. In fact, I enjoy doing these reports as long as you're listening and as long as you're learning something. And again, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the Sea. Call me anytime at 954-493-8811 between the hours at 10 a.m. 4 p.m. Uh, Mondays through Fridays. We keep very consistent hours uh, and uh, love to help you out with your precious metals purchases. Uh, give you the advice on what the best products to buy, uh, what, the, what the cheapest products to buy. Not cheap as in crappy products, but cheap and as cheap premiums. Um, and uh, any other questions? So, thanks for watching. As I said, if anything exciting happens today, I'll do another report. If not, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, make sure you get out to that beach today and take a swim, too. It looks absolutely lovely. Thanks again for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day, and talk to you soon.